learn how to synchronize Outlook between your PCs and share with other people. In order to synchronize your Outlook data using Syncing.net, you must install our software on each Windows PC that you want to synchronize. It is very important to begin with the PC containing the most current Outlook data. Visit www.syncing.net and download our software by clicking the download link. Please make sure you have administrative rights on your PC. Open the setup file you have downloaded and follow the instructions in the installation wizard. If you have a firewall or security suite, you might be asked several times to allow Syncing.net to run as a trusted application. After installation has completed, Syncing.net will automatically start. To protect your data and personal settings, you will need a unique user account. You can create this user account when you launch Syncing.net for the first time. Select No, I don't have a user account. Enter your full name, your email address, and a custom password. Click Next. Syncing.net will now create your personal user account, and you can use this email and password, along with our software, on all of your PCs. Next, the Configuration win Wizard appears. It will assist in configuring your desired synchronization. In this example, we will synchronize Outlook, so select Choose Outlook Folders to Share, and then click Next. You can now create what we call an Outlook group. In an Outlook group, you can freely define which Outlook folders you want to synchronize and with which people or PCs. Name the Outlook group according to its content and purpose, example, My Emails, and then click Next. Now select the Outlook folders you want to synchronize. Note that every Outlook folder can only be a part in, a, in the synchronization of one Outlook group. Also, only Outlook folders from one PST file can be assigned to a single Outlook group. We automatically select the subfolders, so you will have to click the plus sign to extend the view and then deselect any subfolders you do not want to have synced. Now you must decide with which PCs or people you want to synchronize this Outlook group you are creating. The PCs on which you log in with your user account will automatically receive an invitation as we mentioned earlier. PCs of other people will only receive an invitation if you activate the checkbox, invite other persons, and enter their email addresses. Invitations will automatically appear in a Syncing.net notification window or via email if the invited person does not yet have Syncing.net installed. To finish this step, click Next. Your Outlook group will now undergo a one-time preparation for synchronization. As soon as other PCs accept the invitation to the Outlook group, the synchronization process will automatically launch. Please leave the first PC running. Now you will need to configure the second PC. Download and install Syncing.net from www.syncing.net on the second PC you are trying to synchronize. The software will again start automatically. Enter your user account data by selecting Yes, I already have a user account. Click Next. After a few seconds, you will automatically receive the invitation to the Outlook group on your screen. Click Accept. You will be notified about the data size being synchronized from the first PC. Confirm by clicking Finish. What occurs now, we call initial synchronization. This copies all Outlook data from the first PC to the second PC only once. Depending on the data size and speed of your internet connection, this process can take anywhere from a few minutes to some hours. The progress is shown to you in the main window of Syncing.net. Do not turn off either PC during this process. Once the process completes, click Import and decide where the Outlook folders will be imported. Select Use New Outlook Folders if you don't want to interfere with the current folder structure of Outlook. New folders will be created into which the Outlook data of the first PC will be imported. Select Use Existing Outlook Folders if you want to create a one-to-one -one synchronization using your existing Outlook folder structure. In this second case, 
Syncing.net will then back up the current folder content into a newly created Outlook folder and then import the Outlook data from the first PC into the existing folders. The backup folders are only created for the purpose of security, in case you still need this data before the synchronization for later. Click Next to finish. Congratulations! You have successfully configured your Outlook group and you are synchronized between two PCs. From now on, every change in the respective Outlook folder will be automatically synchronized between all PCs that belong to that Outlook group. This synchronization occurs in the background, automatically, and without requiring your attention. Even if you turn off one of the PCs, changes to the other PC will be detected saved and synchronized right after you turn it back on. You will save up to 80% of your internet bandwidth with Syncing.net because we only synchronize changes. Data will only be synchronized with high security and directly between your PCs, even a local area network. Although the PCs must be connected to the internet, it is only because our server manages your synchronization. Syncing.net will start and connect automatically on Windows Startup and will then run in the background, but you are able to configure it through the icon in the taskbar at any time. You are shown a list of all sync folders and Outlook groups in the main window of Syncing.net that are assigned to you and your user account. These are configured under Details. Therefore, you can invite additional people or add Outlook folders. If you want to synchronize data with another group of people, you'll have to create a new Outlook group.